So for the tax three, it's time to start building the our API. So I'm going to pull up my timing and So I'm going to make directory called API, then inside this API, I'm going to make another one called V1, then inside this V1, I'm going to make another one called Views. Yeah, so So, um, and then inside the API, I'm going to create a file called the. I'm going to create an init. Then, okay. also inside the V1, I'll create another one called init. And then inside the views. Create another one, and then inside the V1, I will create up to pi. Then inside views, I will create view. Okay, index, index to pi. I think I'm down. Let me close all this. Then API, okay. I will have it. So, tax three. Um, first we are going to start by opening our app dot And so, first we are going to be importing Flash or Flask. That's Flask with capital F. And then we are going to import storage from models that storage. And then we are going to import our views from api.v1.views from api.v1.views So, but these our views, we are here to create these our views, but we just want to import it here and then register it to the blueprint so then we are going to create an instance of last and call it app so we say flask this is the way it's done and call app and then we are going to register the blueprint this app views are going to register it to flask app so we are going to say app dot register blueprint and then we pass in the app views the this register blueprint is done when we don't want to create every function or method or views for our plus app in one file like this we don't want to, like we don't want to create it in this app file all of it so for this uh, for our app to be organized with this register blueprint, we can divide our views into modular state that is, we use every. And then we are going to go to our main and we are going to set host port and then run our flask app. So we say,
So the our host is going to be gotten from this environmental variable. And if this environmental variable is not present, it's going to be this uh, IP address. Same thing we see here, the port is going to be from this environmental variable. If it's not present here, then it's going to be 500. Then we have to go and import this environmental variable. If I'll do it from up here, say from OS import get env. And then we are going to go to inside uh, v1 inside this v1 we are going to open a init init.py so i'm going to inside v1 init.py going to paste it here So inside the data unit, we are going to import the view from Flask. From Flask, it works to print. And then we are going to create an instance of this blueprint and then name it app views. You know, this app views that we register here, this is the time to actually create it. So we say app view is equal to blueprint and then the blueprint is going to take um, three uh three arguments yeah so the first one is going to be the name of the blueprint and we are going to call it app views and then second one is going to be uh, the module's name which is name and then the third argument is going to be the url prefix for all rules created with this app views so we're going to say url prefix is going to be we're going to call it slash api slash v1 what this is saying is that um all the url that we create with app views we have to start with slash api slash v1 if it's if we are if it's going to be status or home page so it's going to be slash api slash v1 slash home page and then finally we are going to api v1 views and index so we say from api dot v1 dot views dot index which we are yet to create okay we've created it but we've not retained anything inside of it so we use the white card to import everything this helps to avoid um, um circular imports so inside these views you're going to go to index.py and inside this index.py let me copy this So we are going to import a view from API v1 view. So this is where we are going to use it. So we're going to say from API dot v1 dot views import a views. That is we are importing from this. We know that this uh done that in it is actually inside this view so when we say from api v1 views import abdo view so we are importing it from this in it and so then we are going to use this same app view to create a route called status so you see 
the, the, the way it works, as we were creating this here, we will start with at app dot but since we've created a blueprint of this app, we are going to do it with um the name of the blueprint which is app underscore views dot route and then we pass in the the route which is status and is a get method you can just leave it as like so <clears throat> when we don't specify the method is usually a, a get method so we say we define the option the function call it status and then we are going to create a json payload that we return when this route is accessed so we say a response to call to and then we are going to return the payload by passing it to JSONify from Flask. This is it. The next is to why is this not important? So, I don't know. Save it. Okay, I think I created this in the wrong one. This should be inside. Created it here. So I'm going to take this out. This should not be here actually. It should be the one inside the views. The don't die in it inside the views directory. So I think. So next is to run our class cap. Try again. And if we should call what five thousand slash API slash B one slash status yes so we got status okay so we see that the, the slash api slash view on the prefixes and, and any route that we are creating with this app view that we already started here as blueprint <coughs> 